Hey guys, Mason here, Cardinal. How we doing? I want to do a video about something that uh, I talked about before. I want to do it again. Uh, we're actually we're remodeling, upgrading the fixtures here at uh, the old store in New Cut. So uh, it's kind of a mess. Sorry, I'll also show you line a little bit better. But uh, want to do a quick video and talk about these brand new card drawers that we have that we're really excited about, very very happy with. Um, I want to brag a little bit because they're kind of expensive, but this is what we got. This is what uh, these new card drawers that we have look like. Let me put you down on the glass case here. There we go. Very, very cool, right? Got these nice little guys, nice and labeled. This is the Pokemon one. So we got nice little labels up here on front and then these drawers pull out. Very nice, right? Super, super nice and clean. This is all the heavy plate stuff, but uh, super cool. Everything's all organized nicely. Got the sets up front here, and then we have uh, like little magnetic strips on the front that we can move things around for easy classification of where things are. Because we are a TCG Player Direct store, we have things organized kind of weird. They We have multiple sets, uh, or, or mul the sets multiple times in these displays because they, the way that TCG Player has their direct uh, pull sheets it's based off of um, hollow and non-hollow, and then they have uh, near mint, light play, and it goes through all the sets individually that way. So it's actually categorized kind of weird, understandably. So we have it by by game, and then we have it by uh, near mint, light play, and then we'll have all the sets through that uh, and that kind of stuff. So kind of weird, kind of different, right? But that's the way it's easiest for us for pulling direct orders because that's the way they, they have their sheets set up. And this is our big, uh, big magic and other TCG displays right here. So again, uh, all these are nice and organized. Tell exactly uh, light play, heavy play, you know, uh, all the way through all these, and we can move them around as we fill these things up, and they pull out really nicely. So we don't have to worry about moving boxes around. They're all set up in here in the boxes all by themselves. Super, super nice and convenient. And uh, they are. See how nice and smooth they, they close? They're uh, soft closing. These are actually IKEA IKEA uh, cabinets. Uh, I'll put the details in the description for you if you are interested in doing this. But absolutely huge time saver. Um, they are about, uh, they have nine drawers in them. And they are, uh, I think 80, 80 inches is how, how tall they are. But they are um, right around $1,000 a, a piece, which is which sounds like a lot. But realistically, oh, oh here. But realistically, uh, that's not bad because of there's di different ways that you can organize cards. And of course, we were just doing, um, if you remember the, the bulk video, we had gray and uh, black shelving units um, made real tight. And then we had just bankers or the, uh, the five row boxes put into those. And that's how we would pull stuff. Um, just really pain in the butt, really difficult, uh, you know, getting boxes down, looking through them, putting them back in. Uh, this is nice and easy where it just it does it all for you. And is nice and organized, you know, uh, it's behind the counter, so it's accessible for our employees. We don't have to have somebody in the back pulling orders all the time. We can just do it. Our, our front end employees can do it, which is nice. And uh, we do the same thing with pull sheets and things like that. People place orders in store for, via our TC player kiosk, or they can order it at home and then order for pickup here. And then we pull the orders and uh, we'll have it ready for them in uh, just a couple minutes this way. And again, no having to move boxes around or anything crazy like that. And it's just been super convenient. And this is, I believe, this is the most optimal setup you can have. Because there are there are uh, like metal cabinets you can have that have the same kind of drawer system. Um, they kind of look like a tool chest kind of thing, but they have, you know, they're the depth and uh, able to fit uh, card boxes and, and store it that way. Um, those are super nice as well. But um, the manufacturer that did those uh, was actually uh, went out of business. Are, are, is is currently closing, I believe, and so they don't make the, the drawers anymore. The people that like TCG Player themselves would put in orders for through these people, and they don't do it anymore. So that's a bummer. And uh, yeah, there's other cabinets, and again, you know, there's just like multi-use or multi-purpose cabinets that you can buy, and you know, dimensions will kind of work for what you need, but uh, they're just so expensive. Shipping is expensive, and and um, Again, they're not like tailor-made for for cards specifically. You kind of just have to buy one that kind of works, and I hope that it you don't know, forget about anything glaring that's going on. So, 
Uh, these really were ideal. Ikea uh, shelves and drawers and, and uh, again, just kitchen kitchen cabinet kind of uh, units. Uh, we went with these tower displays, but they do make some that, you know, are, are counter height. And you can have like a tabletop on the counter and then have the same kind of drawer system below those. Uh, those are super convenient as well. But uh, just to save our backs and things like that, um, we have these kind of high. And, and then we're able to pull these uh, just directly this way. Not having to spend over or crawl on the ground or anything crazy to actually just access the card. So, yeah, absolute game changer. And again, I think this is the best way to, uh, if you're going to do mass amounts of cards, uh, just buy these from Ikea. Uh, they charge you like a couple hundred dollars to deliver. We don't have an Ikea close to us here. So um, we had to have them delivered and shipped to us. But... If you have an Ikea close to you, I know that you can order them into the store. Just go get them yourself. And, uh, you know, they're completely modular. And, you, you know, you put them together yourself. Not too very difficult. It's super easy. Uh, and the drawers are are, are pre-made. So those come as as is. But, uh, yeah, just locking in all the fixtures. And it didn't take very much time at all. And then uh, as far as uh, putting them into place and, and attaching them to the wall. And, you know, making sure they don't uh, tip over because the weight distribution on these. These that are way, way, way full, like the magic ones. We don't have to worry about that. But, you know, could potentially down the road be an issue if you had uh, maybe some lighter games and higher shelves and, you know, they wanted to tip over. But, uh, no, don't have to worry about that. And we've just been really happy with them. Really great. And this is like the uh, the best iteration you can have of these type of shelving units uh, and pretty much the, the ideal for just pulling cards in general. Again, just uh, these are nice, uh, tall. These are... Um, 36 inch wide uh, drawers, 32 inch, somewhere in there. I'll, I'll put, again, I'll put the direct ap actual things in the, the description of the video. But these are uh, a three row box from BCW and then a five row box that has a lid, a full lid. It has to be those specifically because they, they don't fit otherwise. It's too big. But this is a five row with a full lid and then a three row from BCW. That fits in the drawer uh, nice and snug, nice and, nice and clean. And then, again, we have these tall dividers for the sets, and then we have smaller dividers for the, the card names. And we went ahead and individually have the, all the card names on these dividers themselves. So, yes, takes a lot of time. Um, we were able to carry some work over from previously, the previous system. But this is the ideal. This is the, the dream. And again, these are little magnetic strips that you can move around, say, hey, we had to move things down. You can put the, say, hey, hey Frexia is over there now, instead of over here. But... Uh, those are super nice and convenient just to, to give a visual cue like i can come over here and pull cards and and not have an issue because i know exactly where everything is because of these nice little magnetic displays on the front so super cool uh very very happy with how they turned out and i just want to share that with you guys just be like again kind of brag and be like hey these are really cool and like the ideal and just give you ideas because i know a lot of people ask us about uh, storage solutions and and ways to uh help them uh, build a business and, and make it where you can put lots of cards in uh, very small space. So, and this is uh, smaller than two five rows next to each other. So, because this how the drawers are designed and made. But uh, for the the sake of convenience and just uh, the ease of use, uh, the lack of space per per inch is okay to lose when you have a little bit uh, nicer quality things. And again, these should last a very very long time, and we're very very happy with them. But yeah, just want to show you that guys those because we continue to talk about bulk and and going through bulk and how to have a card inventory that makes sense. Uh, these are uh, the best way to do it. We have about between these four cabinets, and again, they have uh, nine drawers to each one. They have about um, almost 70,000 cards in there. And, um, you know, that's a pretty good size inventory. That's just what we have currently. And we're, we're expanding on that, and we have space to expand on that too. So a lot of these drawers are sitting empty and, and just have some, uh, like, pro to process stuff and just stuff to, to keep off the off the tables and the counters and stuff so we have them used for other things but plenty of space to grow and uh, again it's modular so we can just if we wanted to go and get another uh, store another 30,000 cards we would just go grab another one of these units for again it costs about a thousand dollars per unit and just slap them together so it's pretty good and again for a thousand dollars sounds like a lot but realistically for for this kind of setup it's it's not bad and again those metal cabinets were looking to be almost five thousand dollars a unit which is crazy because they used to be like 1200 
So it's just, you know, after shipping and stuff and all that, it's just, it's just been out of control. So I wanted to show that off, talk to you guys a little bit about that and just kind of brag, like I said, um, this, uh, this new cut store is really getting some, some much needed love after, uh, the new store, getting all the nice, pretty things. We finally got to show the love to, uh, the old store. So really awesome to see, uh, upgrading and maybe we'll do a, when we get done, we'll do a, we'll do a tour of the, of the new cut store and show you guys around a little bit, but that's all I got for you guys today. Appreciate you clicking on the video, supporting the channel, supporting the store. Uh, I got more work to do, so I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.